Hey, son. Hi, I'm Richard Harris, and this is my mom. Hi. She's weird. <laughs> as you can tell. What's up? Yeah, this is probably going to be a little embarrassing video. But we are... <laughs> I'm in my mom's house right now. We just watched our pause. We are making what? Cheesecake? We're making cheesecake. Yeah, cheesecake. Sorry about the light. Um, so she's probably going to be crazy. Yes. And I made homemade dough already. Ready to get bacon or graham crackers so we can make the crust for their cheesecake. So, if you like this video, leave a like and and subscribe and leave comments below. So, uh, yeah. So right, this is their stove. My mom burned her her hands on a hot pan already. First things first, of course. Set, oh. Flour this lightly. Yeah. So we want to flour that. To find the right spot for I gotta wash the can. So I'm sorry about all the oh knocked over a can. It's okay, I do that all the time. So you guys are going to be up top of the fridge. Let's move some stuff around. I was gonna say you can you oh no you have room. What? Oh. I was gonna say you can put those in, in here. In there. Sorry about the noise of stuff. There we go. Okay. Oh, that can you see that? There we go. Okay, my homemade dough. So this is her homemade dough. Okay. This is the, her homemade dough. Flour it a little bit on top before rolling it. Yep. Try to keep it from sticking. And I gotta wash my hands again because I just touched this. You can just uh, roll it out and I'll tell you not to. Okay. Oh, this is a heavy wrong thing. Yeah, it's marble. Why is it falling apart? Oh, gently, by the way. Well, now you tell me. I am doing a gentle way. Yeah. I don't know how to make a cheesecake, correctly. Well, oh, have to put a little bit more flour on it, that's why it's sticking. You go one way, and you go another way, but do you want to get a little bit more flour on this? Yeah. Just a little bit like sprinkle. This is the flower. So I'm teaching Richard how to make a cheesecake. But that much? Yeah, just sprinkle a little bit lightly or over the top. This is just to prevent the dough from sticking. Okay, that's good. And then rub it in. So I can roll this flower back? Put it there. Then you roll this way and this way because this dough is tricky. And yeah, so the dough is tricky. Um, so, so my mama, and also I call her mama bear. Now I call Richard baby bear. Um, so, it's very, very tricky, as you guys can tell. Sometimes you guys just push the edges together. Good. And if you need to, push the edges together. You just want to gently roll and don't. Yeah. Gently, because if you do it too hard, then it'll fall apart, like as you guys probably see. And these only bakes at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. So yep. Nice and golden brown. And once they're cool, I'll show you the next step. Yeah. So this might be two part, uh, this will be part one. Um, so once it goes in the oven, then well, depending on how long it takes. No, regular graham crackers you can cut in square, poke little holes. But because we're not doing that, we're just going to cut it so it'll be easier to cut on that cookie. Okay. How long does it cook for? 
for 15, 10, uh, not 15, not 15, 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, so 10 to 15 minutes. At 350. At 350. With nice golden brown. Okay, so that way it's a nice golden brown. And I'm selling some. You guys got it. You guys got milk, right? Uh, yeah. I'm stealing some milk. And I always, and I always steal some milk. <laughs> always. The dough sets an hour in the fridge after baking it before rolling. And you're out of milk. That's okay, we'll go get some. It doesn't matter how cute your cookie looks, it doesn't matter what the fire because it's all going to be baked for 10 to 15 minutes at 350. Yep. So 350, it goes into a hot oven. Be very careful. Always use oven mitts, don't be like me. Yeah. Well, you don't have to use oven mitts, but it's a good idea. But definitely use oven mitts when you take it up. Because uh, obviously you burn yourself. So, 1032, the cookies be done. Then we'll just let them cool before we dry them up. So, uh, now what? So, now we we'll just clean up our mess and just wait for the cookies okay. to get done. Um, are we going to do icing? And we'll do that last because they have to sit in the crumb, in the pie shelf. Yeah. And then you set it in the fridge. So, we'll get to that step. Okay. So my mom likes to clean while we are waiting. Nice clean kitchen. A nice clean kitchen usually is the best idea. Make sure you get all the dough and stuff off your plate. Yeah, you want to make sure it's clean. Don't be me and do a half, uh, half-ass job. Pardon my language, but this might not be a very kid-friendly video. But I mean, we try to keep it PG, but sometimes uh, it's not going to be PG, so um, yeah, just watch the video before you show it to your kids if you have kids. So that way you know, um, or if you are doing, doing a big video with your kids, make sure you um, just have it on turn the volume down or well maybe not turn the volume down or um just ignore the whole half you know half half ass job thing figure of speech pardon my language trying to give you PG I think it's PG I think so so that noise which is, what is that noise? It's our dishwasher. Okay, it's the dishwasher. As you probably can see, um, I put in a load yeah. before Richie got here. So the house will be nice and tidy and clean. Oh yeah. Uh, Richie calls me a clean freak. That That's true. I wouldn't understand why. <laughs> um, I wonder why, Mom. Well, I taught Richard to be clean and have a clean house. So when he tells me he does a half job cleaning, she she wants it. <laughs> I have nothing to say. That's why I just give a thumbs up. Because <laughs> it is true. comes into my house one time, he told me he hurt his eyeballs in my house because of me. That, that's actually true. It's, true. it's not, it's not that clean right now. And yes, there is, my mom has two cats. Two cats. Yeah, K2 and Misty. Yeah. Misty is more shy and more like, 
takes her time to warm up. But hey, too. He's, a. Uh, He's more lovable. That he's he lovable. He don't have no fear. That he has no fear. He loves everyone. He even loves dogs, big dogs too. Oh yeah. Which is he's, unusual for cats. He's a lovable kitty cat. Yeah, and and if I if he doesn't see me for a certain amount of time and he sees me, he he gets mad at me. So Very he might be bad. a little upset with Richard too, because his two weeks. Seems like two months for a cat. Yeah. Or a year. Or a long time. This is what are you doing on the Uh oh, we're wrecking everything. So she's wrecking things. Again. I gotta say that's a nice microwave. Nicer than me. Than mine. That's yeah. a nicer microwave than mine. There's a pain in the butt to take the screen though. And pain in the butt, I'd much rather. <laughs> I'd much rather pain in the butt than a uh, not pain in the butt. Oh, dropping the camera. So about that, guys. There we go. How the heck do you make this? Oh, that. So this is not flour. This is icing sugar. It is like nice sugar. It is like sugar. That's one cup of sugar and it's one tablespoon of cornstarch. You put it. I have a magic blender, but you put it in a blender, pulse it until it comes to a powdery sugar. Choose this. And there you have your powdered sugar. Try to not squeeze it like I did. Put it in Ziploc bag. I put it in Ziploc bag so that way it doesn't. Seal tight. Seal tight so that way it doesn't like. Dry out, or well, not dry out because it's already dry. Um, so that it's not um, flying everywhere, and losing flying its everywhere, flavor. loses its flavor, gets stale, all the stuff that um, that you don't want. So make sure it's set so tight. If you have more than this, if you have a big batch, make sure you put in a big enough bag to fit all of it. Or if you don't have a big enough bag, put it in multiple bags. Or you can put it in the big jar. Or a big jar, or whatever you got. Long as you. Yeah. Just don't squeeze cream it. Cream cheese is out for room temperature. Yeah. Cream it cheese. Usually it takes a half an hour for room temperature. Now you can use any type of cream cheese. We are using no name. The no name cream cheese. Which it tastes just as yummy as the other one. Yeah. And cheaper. Yeah, this cheaper, but. But. Tastes the same. Very Yeah. It might have no name is is just a slight little bit of difference of taste if if you are used to the expensive stuff. But there's really no big difference. It, it pretty much tastes exactly the same as the expensive stuff, but it has just a slight little difference. Just a very little because it's cheaper. Because they use cheaper ingredients in it. And every like, brand make their own. Yeah, and the more expensive stuff use more, I guess, heavier sweetness. I think. Yeah, it's just a little cap. Not so much. Not like a heavy, heavy, but like it's a little bit. But no name is. And any cream the, cheese will work. The light cream yeah. cheese. Yeah. But work. eating cream cheese will work. It depends if, but it's up to you guys if you want. The expensive stuff or the cheap stuff, whichever you guys can afford. I choose cheap, save me money. Yeah, my mom is cheap, unlike me. <laughs> well, I'm kind of cheap too. Kind. Of. He gets that from me. Yeah. And this is a is a is a thing is a. What do you call this? The pan? Pie pan. For Pie the pan. cheesecake. Pie pan. You so can also use a regular cheesecake yeah. pan. You can use any type of pan. It's just, this one makes it more fancy and it also looks nice. And also you can see through it too. So that way you can see the l different layers. Thank you. Excuse me. Allergy. 
And that's what my mom has to say. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just destroying this place. And just remember, after all, of touching anything, always wash your hands before you can. Except for if you have a clean counter. That's right. But if you touch something, like go into the bathroom or something dirty, yeah. wash your hands. Wash your hands. Yeah, she's Me, I'm hard. always washing my hands, even if I touch my clean filter. Yeah. It's but because. it's also up to you and what, who you're baking it for. If you're baking it for multiple people, then the best idea is to have clean hands. Yeah. But if you're just baking it for yourself, then it's like... Then go ahead and eat your germs. <laughs> <laughs> like my mom said, eat your germs if you want. Um, so... So these are almost done. They're Ooh. getting there. I don't know if you guys seen that steam, but it it was steamy. These are the honey graham crackers. So honey graham crackers, which is I guess a little sweeter. A little bit sweeter than the regular. Little graham. sweeter than the regular graham crackers, which that's okay because it's it's going to taste like a cheesecake, just homemade, and homemade is the best. Richard loves my homemade baking. That is true. That is very true. He, I always had that problem. You wouldn't eat store bought too much. Oh, yeah. Don't fuss around it. But My mom cook, bakes it, he'll cook it. Eat oh, it, yeah. I mean. So, once again, this is part one. So, I'm Richie Harris, and this is my mom. Hi. See you in the part two. Ciao.